This tutorial explains how to convert a numeric vector to a factor vector where the factor levels of this vector correspond to certain ranges using the cut function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this tutorial I will show you a very quick example which is based on the vector object that you can create with line 2 of the code. So if we run line 2 of the code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector is appearing which is called x and we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code and then you can see that we have created a vector with a sequence ranging from 1 to 10. Now let's assume that we want to convert this numeric sequence to a factor vector where the factor levels of this vector correspond to certain breakpoints in this numeric vector. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 5. So in this line of code we are specifying that we want to set the breaks to 0, 4, 6, 7 and 10 and we are specifying these breaks within the cut function. And then we are storing the output of the cut function in a new vector object which is called xcut. So if you run line 5 of the code you can see at the top right that a new vector object is appearing which is called xcut and we can print the output of this vector to the RStudio console by running line 6 of the code and then you can see that we have created a factor vector and you can also see that this factor vector has four different levels and the first level of this factor vector corresponds to a range from 0 to 4 the second range corresponds to the values between 4 and 6 and so on. And you can also see that the elements of this vector show the corresponding ranges to our input vector. So for instance the first four values of our input vector, the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 correspond to the first level that we have specified. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.